What is up you guys? Welcome back to yet another one of my videos. Thanks for tuning in. Do you guys remember those Rolls Royces that we just did paint protection film on and did a detail on? They were my last videos you guys should probably remember. But we are not done with those. The owner has requested that I come and detail his whole fleet, which includes the two Rolls Royces, um, a Lamborghini, and a truck. So that's where we're headed today and you guys are gonna come along. So we are running a little bit ahead of schedule, which is uh, out of the ordinary, but I'm gonna take advantage of this and get a bagel for breakfast. Cinnamon toast bagel with cream cheese, all right. I am so tempted to eat that right now. Now, I don't have a problem with eating and driving, but vlogging yourself while eating and driving is a probably a no-go so I'm gonna wait till we get to our client's house before I eat that up I couldn't wait any longer I just pulled over on the side of the road so I could eat this bagel oh yeah mm. this is definitely giving me the energy to detail today so we just arrived here at the client's house and I'm gonna go grab him let him know I'm here and then we will get set up I need to fill the buckets up. I need to hook up the hose. We got the hot water right here. The client just left in the ghost, but we have the colon in here. The first things first we're gonna wash is this amazing Aventador S Roadster. Finished in a Verde shock. So this one's first up to be detailed and then that black truck over there and then the colon in a ghost. Like I said, this one's the first one in line to be detailed today. So let's check this thing out. Again, like I said, this is a Aventador S Roadster finished in a Verde shock. So you can tell it's matte finish and that's actual paint. Let's hop in and pull it out so we can wash it. We got the key right here. So if you guys have ever been curious on how to start an Aventador, you just have the key inside the car. I'm just gonna set it down right here. You put your foot on the brake, you flip the switch up, press the button. And you gotta close the door. Sorry for the glare, but basically once the car's on, you put your foot on the brake and then you hit this right pedal, or paddle here, and then uh, it's in first gear, you just wanna make sure the e-brake is off. And then you just let off the brake and push on the gas and then you'll move forward. And then if you guys have ever been curious on how to get out of a Lamborghini Aventador, fun side story, the first time I sat in one, I had no idea how to get out. I was locked in, but basically this thing right here, you push down on the black part, which then rolls the window down, then you lift up on the silver, and then you push it with your elbow. Easy as pie. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's get to detail on this thing. Just finished washing and rinsing the Aventador here and you guys know the drill, we need to turn it on, pull it inside and blow it with the leaf blower and then we'll get to drying it. All right, so a cool trick for you guys, if you're going to use the leaf blower technique when washing your own cars at home or your client's cars if you have a mobile detailing company, 
If you're gonna blow dry it inside the garage, do yourself a favor and rinse the floor down. At least get it wet. You don't have to have it clean, just get it wet. Uh, because if all the dirt and um, debris on the ground is dry and you start blow drying the car, it's all just gonna get whipped up in the air and land right back on the car. I learned that the hard way. I've had to wash uh, cars a second time uh, many times. So you just rinse the floor down super quick and then blow dry and no dirt will get in the air. I just finished drying the entire car and the door jams and I'm gonna move on to the interior. So I got my trusty vacuum here and I'm gonna whip that thing on, get all the crumbs out of there and then I'll do like a, a quick dusting, wipe down of the interior. It really doesn't need much. Maybe if there's a scuff mark, um down by the pedals, I'll clean that off. But I'm gonna get to that. Okay, so I just finished detailing the Aventador S Roadster here. I'm gonna leave the doors open just so that they can drip dry. They're, those doors hold a lot of water. Next up on the list is that truck right there. Now this truck right here is pretty new, so it shouldn't be too dirty, although it is too big to fit into the garages right now. Uh, so I do have to detail it out here in the sun, which is not preferred at all. The water dries up really, really quick, especially here in Utah. So I gotta be really, on top of my game for this one, I don't want any water spots. So I'm gonna set you guys down on a tripod and you guys are gonna see what you're gonna see, but I gotta work fast. such a nice day out. I'm loving it. Okay, so the owner of the cars just needed to run an errand down to Salt Lake, so I finished up the truck super, super fast for him. Uh, but uh, next on the list, we have the Ghost here, which was in my last video when we uh, detailed it at my shop. And then we have the Cullinan, which is right in there. So I'm just gonna get going on those. You guys know these cars inside and out because of my last videos, but I'm gonna set you down and I'm gonna get working. Okay, car's all washed, rinsed off. I gotta pull it in the garage because it's very, very sunny out. So far, this car's going really, really quick. I mean, we only detailed it last week, so how dirty could it be? Okay, I'm gonna bring you with me onto the inside for vacuuming and wiping everything down um, and like that because I don't think I filmed that for you guys yet. Just finished vacuuming this thing. There's not much else to do on the inside except for dust and make sure there's no fingerprints on anything. And for uh, interiors like this that are mainly glossy and chrome and they got the, the wood and everything like that, um, I like to throw a little bit of detail spray on a towel here and wipe it down. We have one last car to do while we are here at this appointment, and it is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And you guys know the drill, I gotta pull it out, wash it, pull it back in, dry it off, clean the inside, over and over again. But just another great day of detailing here in Park City, Utah. So 
so we just finished the Cullinan's wash outside here. We gotta jump in and pull it inside. So I'm sorry if the video's a little bit repetitive. When you detail cars for a living, um, it's kind of the same thing over and over again. I'm trying to make it interesting for you guys. I'm trying. Bear with me here. I was about to shut the door on my own. There we go. This car was just as clean as the Ghost, really not that bad. I've just been kind of going through, I just vacuumed it. I've been going through and kind of polishing up all the chrome pieces here, here, and uh, dusting off the steering wheel and that kind of stuff. These are the kind of cars that I really enjoy detailing. They don't need much, they just need that little touch. Make them perfect. Pretty much all that the Cullinan needs is tire shine and then that final wipe down where we get all the drips and nonsense from washing the car. So I'm gonna take care of that super, super fast and then we're going to pack up and get out of here. Okay, we are all done. I just gotta collect all my uh, random bottles and hoses and everything and then uh, we can get out of here. Time to close up shop. So what an awesome first day of spring here in Utah. Such an amazing day for detailing. It's super warm out and we're getting a lot of cars done today. Faith has been at the shop all morning doing a really intense interior detail. I forget what kind of car. I just did those four cars. Bailey, my employee, has three cars on his schedule today and I'm racing uh, all the way across town, all the way across the valley to do one more car for today. So in total, I'm doing five, Faith is doing one, Bailey's doing three. So that's nine cars today. That's pretty awesome start of the season. This summer is going to be our biggest summer ever and I am so, so excited. We're gonna have a large team of detailers, a whole fleet of vans going all over town every single day of the week and I cannot wait. Hopefully I can figure out a really unique way of making detailing car after car after car after car really uh, enjoyable as far as filming goes for you guys. Uh, but until then, just hang with me. This video may be a little boring today. If you guys wanna stay up to date on what we're doing here in Park City, Utah with our businesses, make sure to subscribe below leave a comment let me know if you like this video let me know if, what else you want to see uh, me film and that kind of stuff but until next time peace